Let's implement the reversed for loop in JavaScript. This is Daniel and you are going to get coded. We are going to start by creating a cars array. And the first item is going to be Audi, the second item is going to be Ferrari, and the third item is going to be Tesla. Then we still need a for loop, so for, but this time we need to say i equals cars.length minus one, so we are one step, uh, uh, one, one step backwards than the actual cars.length, and then i greater or equal than zero, the first index, then minus i minus minus, which decrements the i. That means it subtracts one from the i. Then we can just say const car equals cars of index i and then console.log we are going to print to the console that specific car and we have tesla ferrari and audi so we have three cars to our console so let's recap what am i doing here i still need a for loop but this is the reversed for loop so i start from the end of the array so the end of the array is cars.length minus one, in our case three minus one, two. Why? Because this is at position number zero, this is at position number one and two. So this starts at two and ends at zero because we have minus minus, which decrements or subtracts one from the i. Then I have a local variable and I could name, I could use let here instead of const. You can use let if you want to change something inside your car. And then you can print that one to the console and you can see everything is fine. If you like this video, please click thumbs up. Also, I have here all videos about iteration over, C over uh, JavaScript collections. Until next time, bye guys. <laughs>